Here are the horoscopes for the week of the 4th to the 10th of October 2021. There is a lot of activity this week, so we're going to go through day by day and tune into the smaller picture and the bigger picture at the same time in these incredible times. So on Monday the 4th we start with Mercury retrograde trine Jupiter retrograde. Many of the outer planets are retrograde at the moment and at the end of the week we'll see Pluto turn direct but we have been on a journey since spring of going inwards and really assimilating and integrating deep knowledge and reconnecting back to our ancient roots. So Mercury retrograde to trine Jupiter retrograde in Libra and Aquarius respectively. For this I would say consider the richness of your present life. We often reflect backwards and plan forwards but now is the time. With Saturn and Jupiter in Aquarius we're learning slowly how to dissolve the perspective of linear time and always being somewhere else. And with the outer planets retrograde and Mercury retrograde we're shown here how to be still, how to appreciate, how to stop and breathe and to have a retrospective really in a fast-paced world. How much knowledge have you accumulated? How much more empowered do you feel? How much gratitude floods your world? So a great sense of respect and retrospective causing a new perspective on your sovereignty starts right here and now helping us to get off the timeline the projected conveyor belt of life and really realize that much of what we want we already have on Tuesday we have Mars in conjunct Uranus and this is heading towards the new moon in Libra on Wednesday so Tuesday and Wednesday meld into one except that Tuesday is the dark moon so with the dark moon phase we always let go of first Mercury retrograde in Libra is rebalancing relationships please do check out our video transcending the negative mind for Libra as we've gone into that in more depth but I feel the meditation for Tuesday is love need and wanting these have all been packaged in the same parcel for decades now until it's almost indistinguishable what's what but on the dark moon we can let go of the two latter of need and wanting to prepare the space for real love we can examine our control programming in our relationships this comes under scrutiny as this year we're learning to relate authentically and to clean up our energy dynamic so this will attract peaceful and harmonious flow. So an inconjunction is an awkward aspect, but with Uranus teaching us about unconditional love, Mercury retrograde, recalibrating what is relating, then this dark moon we can let go of anything that's not authentic in our relationship with self and others. We come to the new moon at 13 degrees Libra, if you're placing these in your chart, which I do recommend that you do and that's at 12.02 p.m. UK time, so just after midday. The Sun is together with Mars and the Mercury retrograde as well. So there's many layers to this. But they say if you truly love someone, set them free. But to add to that, at this new moon, if we've cleared out some space of the old control systems and programming, then consider you can only really love yourself when you're free. So this new moon offers the opportunity to put all of the conditioning to rest and to make a fresh start. So when people talk about self-love, self-acceptance, which self is it that we're talking about? Because if it's the old programmed self, then we're just doing a little bit of cleaning up of our past. But if we realize that that wasn't us, spoken about that many times, the fake personality story, then set yourself free and be love. And this starts a whole new cycle. By Thursday, Pluto turns direct. And this is at the same degrees that we had the Grand Conjunction in 2020. So not the one at the Winter Solstice, which was the Aquarian energy. But throughout 2020, we had Pluto and Saturn, and at times Jupiter, making a Grand Conjunction in January, April and June, taking us through a pressure point, deconstructing 
even the idea and the structure of the old self. We stood at the precipice, stripped down to our core, and were asked to let go of who we thought we were, according to social programming. So now we're liberated and deeply connected. We finally start to move into a new phase of empowered creation from our essential and unique frequency. So very deep and slow energy there, but this new moon with the Pluto Direct coming in straight afterwards is actually showing us how we can be, live and manifest going forwards. By Friday, Venus moves into Sagittarius and sparks a heart flame of excitement and passion for what really matters and why we care. This is a really beautiful aspect because we've often done things from responsibility or from accumulation or from survival. But Venus is the heart and Sagittarius is the spark. And it can be oh so simple. But the message here through Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday is to let go of the old and to learn to live from this sacred space. Choose passion and excitement and highest frequency, greatest happiness in every waking decision. Let go of the worries, let go of the plans and really come home to self. And by the weekend, the energy is wrapping all of this up. We're in the age of Aquarius now and people ask when did that start? But that's not really relevant as it's an over 2000 year aspect. But we've come here at the time of the clash of the two systems. It's necessary conflict between two collective states of consciousness. And the reason we're seeking our sovereign freedom and centering in our authentic expression right now is to hold those things in the cells of our body the bright light which is in itself creating a stellar future contributing to the changes that are happening in a positive way so choose the winning side you are contributing this is your life purpose. People talk about, oh, I'd like to find my life purpose. But we're in big times now. This isn't any run-of-the-mill routine operation going on. And it really is quite simple. Hold the light. Have vision. Have passion. Have excitement. Learn your chart. Realize your unique frequency. And then be sovereign to how you use your energy every day as an expression of that. As we break free of the should haves and shoulds of the old limiting structures we stand bright and radiate our true light so a really super powerful week here take it day by day lots of retrogrades lots of conjunctions that's when two planets are together lots of initiations dark moon and new moon and if you're still long enough you can sense these positive changes and your effect of where you place your energy we start to see that come into effect in the coming months. Be a champion, not a victim. Let the old matrix go. And without having to know where we're going, it's what we're being that really counts right now. So if you'd like to see where this is happening for you, I am available one-to-one -one for readings, coaching, and lessons. Learn how to do this for yourself, how to make the most of your chart, and your own sacred calendar. I post